Medals in track and field have been extremely hard to come by for Australia's Olympians. Today at Paddy Maguire's in Subiaco, we catch up with heptathlete Kylie Wheeler, who may not have medalled, but returned from her Olympics with a personal best. Kylie, good to catch up with you. Yeah, thanks for having me, Ashley. Now, the first question we've asked everybody, was heptathlon or athletics always your chosen sport, or did you play other sports as well? No, no like most people, probably had to go at lots of different sports as a, as a kid, you know. My parents were just keen to expose me to everything as they could and, you know, see what I enjoyed and athletics was the one that stuck with me, I suppose, over the years. Was there one event in the heptathlon that you loved? When, I mean, when you think it's seven events? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, like, I, in the end, I enjoyed them all, but I must say, I, I could tell you what I didn't love. Um, the 800 just hurt, so who, who would choose to do that? But um, shot put and javelin were my weaker events, so they're, you know, trying to get them up to scratch without sort of dropping off on my strengths as well but in the end like I really enjoyed doing it all I think that variety is what you know what makes the heptathlon so interesting and so much fun. Now uh, once you decided on athletics was it always your dream to go to an Olympics? No not really um, I probably had that realization much later in life than perhaps some others so um, like I started little A's when I was eight and it was just fun and mucking around with my mates and things like that but over the years uh, the others sort of dropped off and I was winning more events but I didn't get my first coach until I was 15 and then even at that point it wasn't you know, on the radar. Um, once I left school at 18, I made my first junior team, Australian junior team, and it was really maybe only at that meet where I thought, well, this is pretty cool. Like, I'd love to do this on the big stage and maybe I can. So, yeah, quite late in life, I suppose. Was that the point where it became a reality that you thought, you yeah. know what, I can actually Yeah, this? yeah. I think up until then, you know, I'd probably watch the Olympics on TV and they, they just seemed like these super beings that were doing amazing things and um, yeah I suppose once I got a little bit of a taste for it and realised that I was in there with those others that were potentially going on to Olympic Games as well I thought well why can't I too? Once you, you were lucky you went to two Olympic Games in yeah. the end, I mean, do you have an abiding memory of either or are there, are there sort of things from both that stick out in your yeah, mind? Yeah, yeah, like in terms of um, making both of those Olympic teams, um, uh, I was never an automatic selection, oh sorry, even the second one maybe, but you know, it was just making the team was a massive effort and trying to hold your body together and put the performances on the day when it counts, so to get the times on the board and um, well, yeah, making the team was just awesome, donning the green and gold representing your country, it's dream come true. So then uh, Athens being, you know, the home of the Olympics, it had all that history and it was just uh, great to be a part of my first games. Um, I went in there maybe off the back of 2002 Commonwealth Games expecting big things, I don't know what it was but anyway it didn't pan out that way so my result there was a little disappointing I didn't I didn't bomb out as such but the result definitely wasn't what I was hoping for so finishing 18th yeah I, I could do better and it, it was you know a, a real, bit of a reality check we went home had to sit down and work out what we could do better and whether I wanted to keep going with it all um, and in the end you know Beijing was just like a almost not an opposite experience but having the chance to compete in you know China where they just put on the, the biggest show it was amazing in Beijing and um, this time a bit more experience under the belt to know what it's all about and yeah this time around I was a bit more fortunate to put my performances together on the day as on the days and um, came away with the personal best so you know 10th you'd always like better but to do what I did I was pretty pleased. Now there's the phrase once an Olympian always an Olympian when does yeah. that sink in and, and has it still do you sometimes yeah. pinch yourself? I think maybe now maybe what eight years later it's probably only really dotting um, sort of hitting home I guess my kids um, they're at, just at primary school and they've invited me in to chat to their group and the kids love it they just feed off every little word you know hang off the um, all the show and tell and the visual that you give them and uh, it's been a real experience getting involved with my kids and they've been watching the games and asking all these questions and yeah I think um, it is very ama uh, an amazing experience and I was very fortunate you know I had that support and the people around me to help me achieve that like there's no way you can do it on your own so um, yeah I think it's it's lucky that we get to say that but there were so many other people that were part of that experience as well. Now uh the big question I've asked is, has being an Olympian changed your life in any way or is it just um, one of those things you can say you've yeah, done? Yeah, it's, it's part of your life, isn't it? It's, it's definitely 
shaped who I am and part of um, part of the journey. But it, yeah, it, life moves on, and um, yeah, new challenges face us. So. Good. Now we've asked everyone to bring something from their Olympic journey. Yeah. I mean, what, what what would you bring if you were? Yeah. Look, I, I think it's about it being more than just you. So there were so many people that helped me get there, and that that was amazing. But um, in terms of the one thing, like I've got a, a competition uniform at home that I had signed by all the other Australian track and field athletes in the team, um, and my hubby's framed that with some photos of all the other athletes in, sitting in our in our lounge room. And it, it's just um, it's a nice little memento of what it meant to be part of that team and doing the things that we all wanted to do. Now we're, we're in Paddy Maguire's in Subiac and one thing elite athletes have to do is watch what they eat. Was yeah. there any food yeah. you craved that once the event was over you went, I'm grabbing that straight away? Yeah, no, look, I'm all about all in moderation. So I didn't deprive myself of anything. I do love my food as, as most athletes do. And um, I think we're fortunate to exercise enough we can consume quite a bit of food too. Um, I've got a very uh, a big weakness for sweets, so chocolate, ice cream, you know, anything along those lines. But, you know, I had it along the way, so I didn't deprive myself. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, we've asked every athlete three questions yeah. about the games they attended. So the first question, can you name any of the mascots from the two games that oh, you attended? Oh, man. No. <laughs> Is that terrible? What about, I know the boxing kangaroo. <coughs> well, I'll tell you, in uh, Athens you had Athena and Phavos. Okay. Who were a brother and sister. Ah, uh, good, yep. And then you had the Fuwa, which were the five uh, friendlies yes. in Beijing. Yeah, right. Good. I didn't remember that, sorry. <laughs> there you go, proves the impact there. Yeah, has. yeah. Now, uh, the second thing was in, in Athens or was it in Beijing? Do you think Australia got their better medal performance and can you remember where they would have come? No, no. I think I, I think Beijing we did alright, didn't we? But I don't know what they, where we finished up. Yeah, he came fourth. Okay. So seventeen gold, sixteen silver, seventeen bronze. Okay, there you go. So, and then the the last one, which you should be able to get, which Olympics did hept heptathlon start uh, for women? Mm. I'll give I you two. Australia won a gold. It was a Glennis, but I don't know what yeah. Olympics that was. 84. Was it really? Okay. Oh, wow. There you go. That was the first year it was in. Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> there you go. Well, Kylie Wheeler, thanks very much for sharing your Olympic message. Thank you, Ashley. Cheers.